Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. When September finally rolls around, it signifies to us the start of another hunting season. A look forward with anticipation to new adventures, and it always starts in central Wyoming on the Split Rock Ranch. And this season is extra special, as it's the start of the 10th season sharing our adventures on Outback Outdoors. Dustin and I both have buck tags, and we can't wait to get on a high spot and glass some country in anticipation of tomorrow's opening morning. Up. I've rode this mountain 70 years I've been alive Choked on rocks and rattlesnakes A wonder I've survived and Don't think I haven't had a bronc like you try me Every time he thinks a monster is hiding around a tree Well, the monster's on your back, son Better try to understand The cowboy that you're fighting now And all the fearlessness you lack Don't worry about the things that you can't see The monster's on your back and There's a monster on your back Well, it's been a good morning and we've got a couple of possibilities for sure. But now the key is being patient and picking the right time. These deer have not been hunted at all. So the first time is going to be a really good opportunity. So we got to make it right. I think our plan is to make a loop around and glass back into some other areas. There's a good white-tailed buck down here on the curve of the river. That is a really nice white-tailed buck. Yeah, we got him. What? It's rock, paper, scissors, and then you shoot. Okay, all right, all right. Have fun walking. <laughs> we watched this white-tailed buck drop into this creek bottom and he's just kind of meandering along it the idea that he's going to bed on that north slope uh, for the afternoon low percentage but right now it's the best play we have and uh, bow hunting is a numbers game sometimes you got to make your own luck
It's the first evening here in Wyoming. Me and Tanner are set up in the same spot. I missed the two bucks last year. We did see some nice bucks go up and over this morning. So hopefully they'll come out and come to this side and work their way out. I couldn't talk myself into it. He was at 65. They just didn't feel right, so I may regret it later, but just didn't want to send one flying. It's the third evening here in Wyoming. And me and Tanner are back where all those deer were crossing last night when Trev and then went into the alfalfa. We felt like this is pretty bare, so we went and cut some uh, sage. Got a nice front for me, a backstop for Tanner.
Well, here's what we need to do. I want to go jump in the ranger like we did yesterday, but I want to go between pivot two and pivot three. See if we can see something. Oh, there'll be stuff down in there. And then make a play. We got to start. This is great, but we've got to have opportunities. We may need to split up. We were driving down to get to a glassing point and we actually jumped a buck, decent little buck. And we watched him work around the edge of this point. We're gonna try and cut him off. So we're gonna cut through these rocks and come down and hopefully get eyes on him and get a shot, hopefully. It's the last morning here in Wyoming, and we've been just kind of cruising looking for bucks. We found a nice two by three up here. Um, he's a little sketched out and watched us for a while, but I think he calmed down and went to the trees. It's kind of back in this corner, a couple does went in with him, but me and Tanner are gonna go around the long way, work up the side of the rock face and, and see if we can get at least eyes on him and get into range. We're running out of time, and I think it's just time to get a little more aggressive than the laid back what we've been doing here. So we're gonna give it a try. If not, we'll go back this evening and set uh, that draw where all the bucks have been crossing. Couple hours. 
we're back. We got Dustin and Tanner and the guys, and we're actually gonna have them set up from a different location. We're gonna go over here, get back on where we shot that buck, and go into that sage that we never saw him come out. Hopefully, lay hands on him. Start squeezing in. Start squeezing in. Here he is. Here he is. Whoa! Yes! He was dead shortly. Very shortly. Thank you, Lord. Oh, he has been rubbing. Uh, yeah. nice work. For me, bow hunting isn't about the inches of antlers. It's about the up close encounters with the animals, the camaraderie of good friends, and the adventure that is the hunt. The opportunity to fill my tag is definitely one I don't take lightly. And there's something special in the hunting and harvesting of one's own meat. Although I'm blessed enough to be able to afford meat from a store, I choose to hunt for myself. There is a connection with the early Native Americans and the settlers, who also supplemented their very livelihood with wild game. Although I appreciate the meat that fills my freezer, the thrill of the chase will always be the force that draws me back. In every classic tale, the main character has decisions they have to make, and those decisions affect the outcome of that adventure. And on this last night in Wyoming, Dustin had decisions to make. Where to set his ambush, and which trail were these bucks going to take? In hunting, just as in life, anything great comes at a cost. And Dustin decided to take his fate into his own hands and try and get within bow range on the last evening on a Wyoming mule deer buck. Well, that's it here in Wyoming for me. The sunset on my last evening just couldn't catch a break. Uh, wouldn't you know, most of the bucks, the really nice buck went across right where me and Tanner were sitting yesterday. Um, and everything else short, short stopped us and went down the bottom here. We'll give her heck next year. I'm bound to connect on one of these Wyoming deer one of these years. 
until then we gotta head out camp, go to Kentucky, go to Missouri, go to Kansas. Season 10 is just getting started for us. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.